Usually, when people play as Ottomans in Victoria 3, they try to restore these borders. But instead, in this video, I'll try to unite all Turkic lands under my rule. I start as the Sikh man of Europe and my goal is to become the Sikh man of Central Asia. Not really easy, but I'll try. First, of course, we have this event. Well, we have to do some reforms because, as you can see, we are not in good state. So, let's see. Journal. Okay, so basically I need to reclaim Syria, which I'll do later. Urbanization. I'll try. Basically, I need to click on those states and see in information urbanization. I need to get, if I'm mistaken, 100 urbanization in most of my states. Uh, what else? Education reform. I'll just build universities. Literacy is not very easy to get. Separatism it should be easy. Army modernization should be easy too. No problems. And for bureaucratic reform, I have to somehow get industrialists in my government and pass some laws. Well, okay, let's start. Uh, first, I'm going to research Napoleonic war affair. Second, I'm going to build some construction centers. Obviously, let's see. Let's build some here, maybe three. Let's erase taxes a little bit, consumption taxes. I'll tax luxury goods, obviously, as you can see already pretty good income, and I'll spend this on construction. Construction is quite useful. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to build some art manufacturers. Again, I'll do it in a least urbanized state. Let's build some here, two arms manufacturers. Also, let's improve relations with Austria, France, England maybe, everyone hates me, how unfortunate. Let's issue some decrees, social mobility, somewhere, maybe here. Let's also build some iron mines, somewhere here. Let's build five iron mines and I need to build some tool manufacturers. In Macedonia, why not? I'll try to enact this law, first because we needed to complete our reforms, and second, well, it's just better. Well. I've tried. Can't embrace this law. Okay, can't pass any laws right now. Although, let's do this. So, both of them here. Uh, where is our grain? Here it is. Export focus. And now we should enable corn laws. Yes, here they are. I want to make my landowners liberal. Let's also build paper mills somewhere here. More urbanization. Time to build more construction sectors. Finally, our army will stop being that awful. Let's change production method. Okay, let's not change production method. Definitely not enough arms manufacturers. And by the way, that's even without mobile artillery. Okay, finally. I can end corn loss. Grain. End of the corn loss. And here we go, more loyalists. Let's pass laissez fair. And also I definitely need more iron. Let's see. Urbanization. Let's put some iron mines here in trap zone, why not? Like I said, I just click on my states, the urbanization, and if it's less than 100, I build something there. Oh, by the way, finally some good event. Definitely need to build some government administrations, unfortunately. And finally, it's time to change our production method to mobile artillery. Let's do it. And I guess I'll have to build even more arms manufacturers. Yes, I'll have to. Finally, more iron and more resources. Time to build coal mines. Let's see. I think maybe here? Quite low urbanization, although population is also quite low. No, okay, let's build somewhere else. Maybe here, looks good. And now I'll start researching the railways. By the way, we've become great power. Quite easy, by the way, quite easy. Let's also become a little bit more democratic. And I can ally France. Just perfect. No, really, let's see. Do they hate Russians? Not really. Well, no one really does, only Austria. Oh well, let's at least ally with Austria, I think it will be more useful. Time for more construction sectors. Finally, we are partially democracy. Not full democracy, but at least that's something. Finally, steel mills will have some use. Of course, I'll build them. I need more tools. Tools are very important. And I'll build them in Basra. And by the way, we almost completed this objective. Almost, like a few more states and everything is fine. Let's try to enact this law. Not sure if it will work, but I'll try. I've tried. Well, let's try to pass something else. I think let's invite armed forces to our government, and I'll try to pass professional army. Our country needs more steel. Quite unfortunately, I have to build here. Let's also build some lead, because I need glass. I need glass because I need more services. This law enactment system reminds me of EU4 sieges. Finally, one reform is completed. So, I guess I'll also complete this reform. This reform is almost complete too, and I will declare on Egypt and complete this one. So, yeah. Basically, I've almost healed Ottomans. Okay, let's build a few more arms manufacturers and I'll start building barracks. Finally, I can do it wherever I want. And here it is, professional army. One more reform is complete. And here we go, democracy. Let's wait for elections. Nothing really changed. Now I just have to return Syria and Ottomans are healed. Why should I wait? Let's go. Return state, Egypt. 
I have O3 as a lie. Let's promote our general twice, mobilize and let's go. And let's promote this one. Let's add more war goals, return Transjordan, Palestine, well, return everything. It's quite cheap by the way. Add to primary, and I still have some diplomatic maneuvers left. Maybe war operations. Well, that's interesting. I'll just defend from Russia, I think. Interesting event, not sure why is it even a choice, of course they'll choose the first option. Because, well, plus 40 relations with everyone versus nothing. Okay, friends, let's enter defensive pact, and I want to do the same with Great Britain. And now I have the most friends in Europe. I'll draw an arrow, and let's go. Not sure what happened, but it seems Egypt is extremely stupid. Like, I don't know, defend maybe? Meanwhile, let's build some chemical plants. Well, that was easy. And now I can do nothing at all, just sit and watch how Egypt dies, like it can't do anything, doesn't have much troops. And now we are the healthy men of Europe. Ok, let's reconquer Balkans. I'll start with Greece. Ok, first I'll research munition factories and then explosives. And finally Greece is ours. And let's do our last conquest for now. Conquer state, this one. This state has Azerbaijani culture, which is, if I'm not mistaken, Turkic culture. Uh, let's add some war goals operations and let's just wait no one should support it i think it will even back down it did let's also build more armed industries like 10 of them why not or maybe just five 10 is too much of course this lot took some time but now we have education i hope my literacy will improve because it's just awful now i can get more money and more money is always good more money means more construction somehow i don't know how but i became liberal i guess it's some flavor event for atamans i think I think, I think, let's choose second option. And here comes the money. Uh, let's build more construction sectors. Don't care how many of them, I just need more. It would be a really good idea to transition to skirmish infantry. Russia shouldn't have it, and even if it does, still it would be great to make us more equal. So let's build some munition plants. 5 or maybe 10. And obviously next research is explosives. Ok, time to get more resources. Let's do it. More iron, more coal, more of everything. And it's time to modernize our forces. Finally we have advanced army. So soon I'll declare in Russia and that's why I'm going to build up some army. Let's build tons of barracks. And I want to make our armed forces happy, so I'm going to embrace this law. And now that my army is at its strongest, I can declare on Russia. So let's declare, unfortunately it's allied with friends, not a big deal. Let's add some more goals. Russian cars, Dagestan, Astrakhan, Uralsk. Maybe let's also conquer Armenia and the Greater Caucasus. Ok, that should be enough for the first war. And I think war reparations. Well, that's quite interesting. It seems I'll need to help Austria. Well, let's help. That's going to be long, long war. Let's draw an arrow and I hope it will end soon. Well, I do have more offense and more defense and more of troops, but well, you never know how it will go. I left the computer for 15 minutes and I returned to this. It seems Austria has pissed out, well, quite predictable, and Prussia has given up too. And by the way, I've almost won, I just need to get to Uralsk. And as you can see, it's not much. And I do need more of arms industries. Thankfully, capitalists are building them. I think I'm almost there, like, almost victory. That's not funny. That was just disappointing, like, almost. It follows the exact borders of the state, like, minus friends, just perfect. Hope I soon will win. Maybe let's just mobilize, because otherwise it will take eternity. And uh, let's remove from all social mobility and change it to enlistment efforts. Yeah, that's going to be expensive, but I don't have other choice. To be honest, don't really know why, but Russia always has twice as many troops in battles. So after two years of stalemate, finally some progress. I'm almost bankrupt, so I don't have much time, so please, yes, finally. Ok, let's defend, I need to defend. I don't want to risk anything, just defend. That definitely was something, yes. I'm really glad that I'm great power and I have extremely small interest, like 6k is not much. So I'll definitely recover, but well, that was quite an experience. Never underestimate Russians. Never. Ok, at least we have a lot of new states. Let's cancel this law. I wanted to enact it just to make my armed forces loyal, so I get more offense and defense. At least now we have a lot of more target states. Ok, now our prices have stabilized and I have quite decent income. Maybe this time I finally will be successful. Again, not sure if it's unique for Ottomans or not, but well, let's see. I think this event should be good. Basically I can make Sunni pubs more radical, or I can make other pubs more radical. Well, let's choose the first option. Radicals are always bad. 
Russia still has tons of troops, so I guess I'll build more barracks. I can afford it. Final dynamite, uh, let's make our economy more efficient. Line goes up. Of course, Bosnian artillery should be known all across the world. So I've researched new technology and now my problems with artillery should be resolved. Yes, artillery is now extremely cheap. So I've built a hell lot of barracks. I think only China has more troops than me at the moment. Yes, only China. So right now I'm going to return Kazakhstan to its lawful owner. For some reason I can't declare on Russia. Well, okay, then let's declare on Ortajus. Doesn't really change much. Conquer state. Awesome front lines. I love it. I'll let that state go, I think. So let's mobilize our troops. Hope I won't go bankrupt. At war goal. Akmolinsk. Semerecha. Russian Semerecha. Russian Akmolinsk. And I think that should be enough. Let's see infamy. Quite bad, but could be worse. Chin sides with Russia. Just what I needed. Well, and now this bad. Yeah, definitely bad. Great Britain is not good news. I wonder why. We are allies? We were allies. No, we are not really. Definitely not the easiest war. Reminds me of our previous special military operation. Austrians have pissed out. They have abandoned us. Well, I'm sure. Sooner or later I will win. Maybe not now, but I don't know. In few years I will. Minus China. Should be a little bit easier. That wasn't that difficult. There were some difficulties, of course, but it should be fine now. Well, it seems we both can capitulate. Well, I'm hoping Russia will do it first. Quite fortunately, it seems that I will win here. Let's see, maybe I can pass out right now. By the way, yes, I can pass out right now. Let's do it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so what else do I need? I need... Well, by the way, this state was Kazakh. The last time I've checked, it was Kazakh. Quite interesting and quite historical. Anyway, I need to conquer these three nations. This state, this state, and these two Uyghur states. By the way, Portugal is dominion of France. It's my first time seeing this. And Spain is in customs union. Finally have some good artillery. Let's change our production method. I guess I'll need to build more munition plants. I guess let's build even more barracks. Quite unfortunately, I'm afraid Russia will try to interfere with my plans. Let's enact total separation. I think it may help with radicals. And here we go, total separation. I don't need no other jerk. We naturally became democracy. Ignore slavery, please. Let's liberate Kazakh and Uyghur people. Conquer state. Kyrgyzia, Junkaria, Tianshan. I'm almost sure Russia will support it. Maybe let's add war reparations. Of course. I already knew this would happen. Not a problem, I'll just defend. Welp, let's go. I think it should be quite easy. Interesting, Great Chin is quite strong. Not really sure why, but when Austria is my enemy, it becomes number one great power, forms Super Germany, and has 1 billion GDP. But when it's my ally, it's doing this. It can't even attack in Russia. Well, Russia gave up, now it should be 10 times easier. Chin has garbage troops. It was quite long war, I definitely underestimated Chin. It does have some army, but still, we won. Almost perfect, almost. Only these three small nations are left. I'll start with Bukhara. Conquer state, British might support it, don't care. Well, actually, everyone wants to support it. By the way, let's enact public schools, why not, I agree. Good idea. That was even too easy. I'm not used to it. Okay, let's pass out. Okay, only these two small nations. Let's conquer Hiva, I guess. Conquer state. So, I'm almost at 100 infamy, but not yet. And that's quite important. If I get 100 infamy, then Austria will abandon me. I'm really surprised that Russia doesn't want to help. Usually it hates me, but no, it's not. And again, they stand no chance. Actually, China and Russia could win. These nations, they can't. It's even a little bit boring. That might have been even too easy. Well, now that looks glorious. Okay, one last nation. Let's see. Infamy. Or you know what? Screw it. I'm going all in. No one is going to do anything against me. Now I'm true Turkish state. Public education, but I don't care. Uyghur revolution. Quite interesting. Time to enact violent suppression on Uyghurs. Well, don't really help. Anyway, I'll just conquer it. Okay, so just one more week, and here we go. And let's crush those Uyghurs. Okay, our empire is almost complete. You might not like it, but this is big Ottomans. We don't need Egypt, we don't need Arabia. These are truly the best borders for Ottomans. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.